Corel Draw Tips and Tricks with Steve Spence. Today's session, how to work with Corel Draw symbols. Brought to you by Condi Systems. Have you seen all the symbols that are available in Corel Draw and wondered where they were? Not to mention how to use them? Well, in this session, we'll talk about the Corel symbols and where you can find them and how you can use them. First, we have to find them. And in order to do that, you'll need to insert the disk that came with Corel that either holds the symbols or if you got a DVD, insert the DVD and in this case, you can see that we have disk 3, and this happens to be from X3, but I just picked that at random. Select it, explore the CD, go to Symbols, and it will ask you if you want Type 1s or True Types. They're the same symbols, just two different formats. I use the True Types. And you'll see a list of all the symbols that are available. Tons and tons of them. Thousands of symbols. Pick the one that you want. For instance, you might want landmarks. There you see some of them. And click Install. Simple as that. We'll close out of these. Go back to Corel, and now we have to find it in Corel. Symbols are really handled just like fonts. And in this case, we're going to go to text, tell it we want to insert a symbol character. We'll get a docker at the right-hand side of the screen, and because we looked for landmarks, Let's go back a little bit, and there is Landmarks. We click on it, and there are the landmarks that we can pick from. There aren't very many in this particular one. What we have down at the bottom, where you see the same one repeated over and over, those are just space holders. But let's click on this one, and we're just going to drag it out into the workspace. We can make it as large or small as we want to. And what it is, is an outline that we can fill. So if we click on it, click on black fill, that's what we get. Now, these are not intended to be highly detailed graphics. In fact, most of them are intended to be only an outline with a fill. And you can use it with just the outline if you want to, but most people use it as a fill. Some people call these icons, but more accurately, they are really dingbats. Corel didn't call them that, probably because most people don't know what a dingbat is anymore. But dingbat is a printer's term that dates back a hundred years and it means a box, a image, uh, anything other than type. And so these are symbols so far as Corel is concerned. If you were to take them to a printer he would probably call them dingbats. But dingbats are available and we will look at how to load dingbats from the Internet there are thousands upon thousands of these, as well as fonts, that you can download for free. But they take a little more doing than the ones that came with Corel, and so we'll save that for another time. When we look at the symbols, I've downloaded several from the military symbol package. You'll notice that most of them are just single black blobs that represent whatever it is it's supposed to represent. There are a few, however, like this one. We'll zoom in so you can see it. This one was not intended to be filled. You can fill some of it if you want to, but it really wasn't intended to be filled. 
It's just an outline. Now, can you do more with it than what we've done here? Yes. In cases where there are more complex symbols, you can do something else. The first thing I want to do, though, is take all the color, whoops, take all the color out of this one. Now I'm going to select it, go to Arrange, Break Curve Apart. Now what we have are a variety of curves or objects, and these objects can be filled any way we want. So if you want to fill this and make it look like a more colorful airplane, you can. My color choices are a little wanting here, but you get the idea. And if you want to put a lot of outline on it, you can still do that. So those that are built like this can be decorated a little better, a little more extensively than the standards. But symbols are typically meant to be used as icons, not as real graphics. Can you fill them with colors other than black? Of course you can. In this case, we'll fill this one with red, for instance. It really doesn't matter what color you use. It's just a fill. So, as we go to the list of fonts at the top of this docker, you can see there are countless fonts, but there are also a number of symbol packages in here. Another one that's from Corel is military. These are just military objects, and you saw some of them before. And they can be drug out. They can be changed as far as size is concerned or color, for that matter. We'll make this tank red. Uh, we can also change the outline color. We'll make it yellow. That doesn't show up very well, so we'll make it, well, we'll take it back to black so you can see it. But you can do that much with the symbols. Symbols always show up in the docker that is found under text, insert symbol character. And you select the ones you want just at this little drop-down font menu. And you'll see that there are all kinds of fonts in here as well. And I should say to you that many of these characters, if we select just a regular font, for instance, offer a lot of characters that are not on the keyboard. And this is where you find those. These, two are considered symbols. Need the registered trademark symbol, for instance. There it is. Want it filled so it looks like it should. There it is. I'm not sure what this is used for. I think it's used uh, um, for a musical thing. I'm not sure. But again, just fill it. And you have a character that can be used along with text or separately. If you want to type Condi, for instance, you'll notice that the E is wrong. So we're going to select that E, and we're going to go over here and find the E that has the accent mark on it, and tell it Insert. And you can see that it inserted it and removed the other one. Of course, I picked the wrong font, but that's pretty much normal. Okay, so that's symbols, and that's how you work with them. Now, just a word of recommendation. I'm going to drop out of this, and I'm going to go in and look at this file folder. You see it's called Corel Symbols, and it's on my desktop. And then I'm going to go up to Computer, and I'm going to select that disk that had all those symbols. And then I'm going to select the first one. I'm going to hold down the Shift key, select the bottom one. There we go. And then I'm just going to slide them all over into this empty folder. And I'm just going to slide it over into those folders. Take just a second to do it. And as you can see, now I have all of those on my desktop. So I can go get them 
and install them very quickly, very easily if I need them. I don't have to use the Corel disk anymore. I've got it on my computer. Now there's also another way to use these, and that is to put them into a font handler. CorelDRAW comes with a font handler. It was actually created by Adobe many years ago, but it was bought by Corel because they have so many fonts that they like to use and they wanted to incorporate it. And it's called Font Navigator. I'm going to open my Font Navigator. And you can see a couple of things. First of all, in this column, you can see all the fonts that I have loaded in the computer. And you can see there are 634 of them. And that's terrible. You should never have more than about 200 fonts loaded in your computer at any given time. There is no excuse for having 600 fonts loaded in your computer. It's just laziness because all you have to do to unload these is to click and drag them over to this other side and they will immediately uninstall themselves from the working Windows uh, program and put them over here in a storage file and you can then go back and get them anytime you want. Just click and drag and it reinstalls it. Well, here's what we're going to do in order to get all of our symbols loaded into the font navigator. Now we want to go up, we want to find fonts. And we're going to find them right here. This is our disk that's inserted and you can see right there symbols and there's true type which is my preference and that's telling it that's where we want it to search for fonts now these are really not fonts they're symbols but remember they're treated at, by Windows and Corel as fonts so we'll let it load them and it's loading them if you watch this number down here it has loaded over 3,000. Now that it's loaded some 3,000 symbols, we need to find where it put them. And we'll expand on Font Navigator so we can look at it a little easier now. And you'll see that it has added a number of fonts to what is already installed in my computer. When you ask it to install, it puts them in the Windows folder with fonts literally installed and ready to use. If we look at military, for instance, you can see that it has um, installed those characters. Uh, if we go to medicine, you see we have the same thing shown over and over and over. This is not uncommon when working with dingbats or symbols is for displays to show up with what really are space holders rather than the actual image. So don't be surprised if this happens. When you open it up in Corel, you'll get the real symbols. We'll go down a little bit more. And there's plants. Go down a little bit more. There's science. Again, space holders is what we see. Shapes. Semaphores. Shapes 2, Sign Language. Again, we see just one tiny little element there. Signs, Space, Hobbies, Sports, and so on. So these are all installed now on the computer. If you're wise, you'll not leave them there. Unless you're going to use one of them, you'll move it back over to the other side and uninstall those and just keep them for storage uh, in case you need them. You rarely will actually use more than say one group of symbols or dingbats at a time and I don't know another way to unload these or move them other than just literally click and drag one at a time. It doesn't really take that long and it is very important that you 
not keep too many fonts loaded in that Windows folder. After this is completed, I need to spend a little time and go in and clean up my Windows folder. It's a disaster. Okay, so that is how you use symbols and CorelDRAW symbols in particular. They are wonderful little tools if you know where to find them. And now you do. Hey, thanks for watching. Hope this helps.